Here what she is. the actual fuck is that? <laughs> That's like something off a theme park. Right, muckers. Everyone's always asking, can we see the Matadors? What's happened to this one or that one? Well, six months down the line, roll the titles. <laughs> So, um, a big turnaround. It's not, not been bad. When was it you were last here we stripped it down? Right, so, remember we took the all apart, cab off and whatever. Got a strip two chassis rails yep. which went off yep. and they got were shot, shot blasted, blasted and whatever. Bit of welding and fabrication in there as well. That's right. Had it painted. Yes. Uh, came back, uh, rebuilt the engine. Yeah, yeah. The engine yes. was really tired. That was it? tired. Really, really tired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sounds like your dog. <laughs> oh, is that or a, a T belt? Um, yeah, so you've done this one. Yeah, so literally on this engine, this has had everything. This had a, a rebore, yeah, because the, the liners were really warm. Oversized, yeah. brand new set of oversized pistons in it, yeah, new rings on it. Uh, new big end bearings, yeah. All the cylinder heads done, new yeah. valves, new valve guides, everything. So, and it runs a treat. That's it good, really yeah. does. Well, run if you do them right, the do, aren't they? Yeah. No problem. Yeah. Um, so then obviously all the axles and stuff like that have been done, yeah. transfer box, gearbox, etc, yeah. etc, et steering box and whatever. Yeah. So really this is... A rolling chassis. Now no. this, yeah. fun enough, going right back, not only to the beginning of all these series of Matador videos, we'll go back even further, you and me, and go on. over 20 years ago, this is what your Matador looked like when we ran it that day. Do you remember? Yeah. yeah I, this is, you know, so everyone knows this is literally how you Max drove it, like, like you, this. Yeah. Like I said we we got pictures of it, haven't we? You yeah. Know? You sat on an oil drive, if I remember rightly. Yeah. It's all, it's a piece of RSJ. Yeah. And then we had an oil drum. So yeah. your back end sat on that. Yeah. And then the legs hang over the front. Mm -hmm. And we started and drove it like this. Yeah. All so the this health and safety. All the safety. Yeah. This would run and drive itself now. The same same thing. When you could yeah. drive this now, it's a yeah. rolling chassis. Mm -hmm. Brilliant stuff. Right, let's go and have a little look at what was here. Okay. Yeah. Now, this is more like it. So this one was where the other one was. Yeah, it's a production line. It is, it's what you've got, haven't you? Yeah. So we've got all the front scuttlers on, obviously, now. Yeah. Um, and now, just so we know, mm. um, this doesn't have a back on. We'll go to that in a minute. Yeah. Although it's got a back on, it's actually being used as a jig. Yeah, because I've run out of space. Yeah. This is a timber tractor. Yeah. I mean, let's be honest, originally it's it had a back on. Yeah. But after the war, and as this working life. You explained that in one of the other videos. When they came out of the army in the 60s, they were bought. Where did most of them go? Two two uses, really. Mainly. Recovery and timber. There you go. Yeah. This one went timber. Yeah. So, um, however, this is all very nice. What a bit more, are there? Yeah, there is a. It's not going to be the open plan model, no, there's a cab to go on this. <laughs> Speaking of which. Yes. Right, cab. Brand new cab. And this will go up on top of that. Yep. Um, and, well, so it looks like, basically like that, wouldn't it? You know? mm -hmm. So, uh, was this one, you know, have you just had to let bits in to repair no, it? No, this one, so with these Matador cabs, they are wood and they rot out. You've got to think this wood is 80 year old? 80 year old wood. It's not done too badly. No. Uh, sometimes when we do these cabs, we can get away with replacing a single timber or just yeah. a couple of timbers, and we do. You do yeah, exactly. Now, that an old an old bit of pine or an old bit of larch, no. is it? This is the like the proper stuff that was used when they built these cabs, yeah. isn't it? Yeah. Right. So this matador, remember, this is the one that me and Matt took out down the road. You can see there's some bits missing, but they haven't been skipped. Uh, they've been put to good use. Now, and 
If yep. we just have a look at the back end, I think it becomes a little bit more apparent. Right, you can see here, look, just how bad this is right. As I said, 80 years old, it's going to be. You're allowed to do that sort of thing when you're this old. Yeah, so this whole body needs, it just needs replacing. But you've got all the original ironwork that goes with a body, such as this, and you would have had locker boxes on here, on the side, and uh, so what Ant's been doing is carefully taking all the metal work off as he goes, not just stripping it right out, but doing a bit by a bit, and they've been getting blasted, primed and painted. Ant's then been doing all the woodwork, replicating all this. So bits like this, they're still on here, because Ant doesn't need these at the moment. So they'll be taken off when he does need them, blasted, primed and painted, and then put onto the new body. So, there we go. These are the original uh, locker box doors and latches, hinges. And so you've had them, as I said, taken off and yep. that. And then you, look at that, have replicated everything you see on here. And as I said, this, don't forget, this one's being used as a jig, this truck. So this body is going to be on that artillery truck. Lovely job, look at that. And you've made, well, everything. You, everything. This whole body is what Ant has made. Um, Again, using all the correct timber, you can see that here. Look, by the two, there's your hardwood, and then there's there's like a softwood, which was how they were made. Unfortunately, they weren't made to last 80 years. They have done, but they weren't made to. They were made to last for about eight hours until they were blown up. But whatever, that's what they expect them, you know, to happen to them. But anyway, made really well. There's all these original fixtures and fittings, and so let's have a look at the back here. So here. You can see, this is the bit I was pulling apart and flipping, it's all rotten at the back on the original body. So you've obviously, this was on there, yeah, it was original it? frame, original all taken hinges, off, you've off, blasted, primed, fitted on. Fitted back onto the new body. Yeah, new body, yeah. And like I said, so then around here, you haven't got your tie downs yet for your no, thing because no. they're still on the original body. When yeah. you come to your that point, yep. take them off, take them off blast, them prime, yeah, paint, exactly. and then they'll go on here, so you can tie the canvas down. Yep. But, I mean, you should look under here, look. I mean, the, the, the quality of this. But you say it's an exact um, representation of, 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 what of what's on there. Yeah. Yeah. So when you're done, this whole body will be lifted off yep. and put onto that lorry chassis yep. out there. Yep. Do you recognise this engine? Uh, <laughs> yes, I do. Right, a um, couple of months back, <laughs> this isn't actually out of a Matador. It's the same engine that's in a Matador. Same engine, sort of principle of the block and everything, the same engine, but this is actually out of a Maudsley. And me and Matt, um, well, Matt actually came up to where I am, and we took this out of a Maudsley. So that's a Maudsley. Um, but the thing about a Maudsley, like all these old names you'll remember, like AEC and Leyland, Albion, Maudsley, etc., uh, etc. Et um, but why are you? It's, the, it's not quite a Masto engine. It's the same block and auxiliaries as an, uh, the Matador engine. Same engine as an AC Regal bus from the 1930s and 40s. We think there's a frost crack that's running all the way down the side of the block, so it's spewing water out. Someone's had to go out and repair it with some heavy metal in the past, which is not always the best way. Um, so we're going to hook the engine out which isn't too bad a job on no. this big hole here. Um, we'll take the engine out, have your heads off, block off, and you know, do what we do in the workshop. Good. Right. And the nice thing about this one is they're made to come straight out the front. It's lovely, isn't it? If only the Matadors were like this. I know. Gearbox out, radiator off, undo the front crossbar button. Off it comes. And just, you know, this has been a morning's work so far. Because you yeah. don't need to use the certified Matador cab lifting attachment, flat eight stroke, no, you know. But I have brought from home the, uh, the lifting frame that goes on the rocker cover, so. You remember that? They used to take the rocker cover, if you remember that, when we did the other one, you take the rocker cover off there, slide it, tighten them back up, and that's actually how you lift it. Oh, that's not, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, that's right, yeah, yeah, oh, yeah. Oh, sometimes it may be good, sometimes it may be shit. When you hear about people stitching blocks, 
The only thing that was stitched here was the previous owner. Oh yeah. Oh yes. <laughs> look at that, look. Right, so when we saw up there, the issues with this is a great old crack mm -hmm. in the block and whatever. Yep. So now it's back here. What are we going to do with it? I'm going to put a new block on it. I've actually managed to find a second hand block to go on it. We'll rebore it, so we'll take it oversize, put a set of oversized pistons in it again. Yep. And then, you know, go through it and... Uh, and then on. you're going to come up and we're going to have to fit it again. Yeah. Yeah. But as I said, like you saw in the video, the, the one nice thing about these, you've got to be careful, but you can actually slot them in through the front, can't you? Yeah. Which you haven't got to have all the cab off and everything like that. So that is a bit of a bonus. So it's not all been good news, unfortunately. Really? Mm -hmm. What is that? My red one. Yeah. My favourite matador. Yeah. I've broken it. Do you know anybody to repair it? No. Let's go and have a look then. What have you done? So I was going to the only rally last year. Yes. And on the way home, the engine develops the death knock. Oh, did it? Mm -hmm. Right. It's not happy. Now, I'm like... Now, before we go too far, see, I was following both this and you yeah. to that said rally. Yes. You weren't sparing the, you know, the horses at all, were you? Do you think you may have caused some of that problem? None of it. None of it. None None of nothing it. to do with you nothing whatsoever. No. No. So, right, you've got the old death knock. I've got the death knock. Right. Yeah. She's been in there a long time. Yeah. Well... Basically been in there since you got it going. Yeah, and I, to be fair, at the time I never did anything to it. We found an engine in, in, in a hedge, and then I got it running, gave it a cut of paint, and plopped it in there, and uh, she's been in there ever since. And we've done thousands of miles with it. So, to be fair, it is about time that it had a bit of TLC. Yeah, but they're not easy to get out of the matador. No, we're not going to just lift and slot this one straight out like the old Maudsley. And I'm not going to lift the cab off either because. I'm just not going down that route. So uh, we've got to do it the old-fashioned way. Cut the axles, drop it straight the bottom. <laughs> <laughs> no, go on. We never do. What we're going to have to do, as I've stripped as much out as I can, yeah, yeah. we're going to support the chassis. Yes. And we're literally going to remove the front axle with the springs. Away yeah. In one unit. And then <laughs> you on a forklift. We're going to come in, attach that to a forklift time. Right. And then just literally pull it out. Sideways okay. a little bit, yeah, yeah, yeah. and then drag yeah. it out. Okay, and then uh, that'll be the next one for a rebuild. Okay, yeah. Well, that sounds good to me. Yeah. Um, yeah. But again, we'll film that so we can see another method. Yeah. Um, can we not just lift the cab off? No. <laughs> okay. No, it's just not going to happen. No. Okay. Right. We'll go over the road and look at thirty-seven. Yeah. The old Sherpa there. Now, well, we're going to go and see 37, yeah. even though it's actually a year to the day, well, to, to the week, that we last started 37. Snow. Snow, yeah. It was snowing, wasn't it? Do you it's remember that? It's not much warmer now. Mm. What could possibly go wrong? <coughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh, keep it going, go on, keep it going, keep it going. Listen to that, here she goes. Listen to that. Oh, what a pretty. Just here how sweet these things are. So the big question being, have we started on 37 yet? A yes and no. As in, if this was the only matador that was here, then we'd have started actually stripping it out. But because obviously Matt's commitments with all the other matadors for customers, there's no point because once we start stripping it out, um, there'll be bits strewn everywhere and then the customer will want something else done on theirs and you go to there and then you come back and that bit's missed. Where did you put that? Is that got? No. So this is what we've been doing. Matt has been very, very busy getting all the parts we need. So we've made a list, starting with the cab, the engine, the springs, the transmission, anything that needs doing and even all the odd little fixtures and fittings and whatever. Matt has been very cleverly 
locating and sourcing these bits that are often, well, nine impossible to get. Yep. You've done that. So that's what we've been doing. Because when we actually do start on 37, it is going to be start to finish because it'll just be cab off, stripped down, everything done on it uh, mechanically, all the chassis, the springs and whatever, and all the bits will be ready to go on. Literally just pick them off the shelf because we already sourced them and then build it back up. So it'll be stripped down, rebuild, done. Um, so yes, been very, very busy, but we actually haven't started stripping 37 yet in any big chunks because as I said, as soon as that clock starts, it'll be a start to finish and we don't want to lose any parts. See that there, that's just not a, a dent or a bit of damage. There was actually a flap there, wasn't there? Mm -hmm. Uh, you've seen it in the pictures, a lot of people, I've never actually seen one fit, and even when I saw that, I thought, well, that's gone, same as ever. But, like I said, Matt has been very, very busy. Well, to most people, that looks like a bit of uh, rusty old metal. Yeah. But it's not. It's not, it not really at all. Is, but, um, that but is that scoop, isn't it? Oh, fantastic. It works, kind of. Oh, look, but seriously, look, that, I pulled it out, and then... Yeah, yeah, that... A nice addition on 37. Well, it's a bit, of a, right, a bit of originality, isn't it? That is seriously a spot on. I like that. Well done. Right, ignore all that. That's spares. Um, obviously, on the back, it used to be a big compressor unit, a real heavy one. And so the leaf springs are as flat as a witch's tip. Right, so we have got here a pair of really nice matador springs to replace the ones we've just seen on the back, which from years and years of uh, use. All that weight. All that weight on the back with that big compressor unit and actually flattened them out, actually made them go the other way. But these are a lovely set, they've done very little at all. So, strip down mat, yeah. rebuild. I think what we'll do, we'll just strip the leaves apart, clean them up, paint the leaves, grease them, and then go straight back on, can't we? Spot on. So, things like the cab as well. Now we know that the early cabs, the Wayman cab, a lot more intricate, looks really nice, brilliant, but for wartime production, just far too detailed and complex. So, as we know, they made them a lot easier. Uh, but these lovely, they are lovely, these Wayman cabs, but where do you find all the bits? Matt, however, again, sourcing everything that we need, hasn't been sitting around. Um, and that's actually a nice straight roof. That's an old roof of uh, the other style, the later style of cab, obviously. So don't be worrying about that. But again, that's the early cab. Right, so as an example, here is the back of one of the early Wayman cabs. This one is actually very, very good. Um, go right through it, obviously. One or two little things will need replacing, but in general, that's fantastic. So that's a big step forward with the cab rebuild on 37. Oh, look at you, though, with the old uh, official Matador HQ uh, merchandise. Looks smart, like, don't I? That's right, mate. Yeah, that's well, very uh, good. And the hat, Matador uh, HQ. Uh... Official merchandise. Getting all together, isn't you? I know, almost like grown-ups now. Uh, almost. Maybe you could uh, do this, smarten yourself up a little bit. What do you mean? You look like a garden gnome. I mean, like, this obviously isn't all staged, is it, you know? <laughs> <laughs> well, Del Boy, I mean, you might as well have a blatant plug then for your, for your merch. Where's Mr. Humphreys? Is he free? I'm free. Right, obviously, we know that you do... Oh, yes. Green hoodies right very good very nice very good very nice right and what else do you do well, how about a nice blue hoodie right you do them in blue yeah. yeah uh blue polo shirts yes green polo shirts very nice the beanie hats now i think Got i've hat. seen you well <laughs> not that long ago green hats and the old matador hq baseball caps and they're very i awesome. always like these these are basically they zip up um sweatshirt hoodies aren't they they're really nice because you can just whip them on and whip them off quite easily. Now, one of the things I often get in the comments mm -hmm. when I'm doing a Matador video is, um, well, where do you get all the bits from and whatever? Well, like I've said and I've told a lot of people, you keep a lot of stuff in stock, both new manufacture to, to the old original specs, uh, new old stock, plus some second-hand, you know, reconditioned stuff, don't yep. you? You do all that. Um, but these are some of the main things. So the first one, you know, where do you get head gaskets? Well, you always keep stock head gaskets. So you've got the copper, original copper type ones. Uh, and let's move these over here. Composite, 
more modern composite and obviously that comes with all the other gaskets that you'll need so you keep all those now there you go valves and guides and stuff like that and you've got all them in your mat yeah they're all remanufactured parts yep people forget the importance of good valve guides and uh, the condition of your valves and the difference it makes to your running engine yep uh, then we've got uh, well obviously pistons yep. and uh, you've managed to get around the big age-old problem uh, of worn pistons and liners and stuff like that because you've got your liners that you use which are brand new yep. you can put pistons in and you actually have these machines they take a slightly uh, larger ring yeah we've got these we've had these wings made brand new ever so slightly wider so if you've got a bit of uh, wear in the groove in your piston just open them up a little bit more and put some wider rings in thing is though, a lot of people forget let's just say you happen to come across in the back of someone's shed some brand new original out of AC's factory rings mm -hmm. you've got your pistons they're all right yeah those grooves over the years they've worn anyway so they're going to be slopping about anyway so you're far better off having the piston groove machined to fit the new rings everything fits and you're back to square one aren't yep. you and that's that's what you do so then we what else we got oh look recon water pump nice yeah that's probably a little unit look that's nice you got those as well um well, fuel pumps fuel pumps of course um so stripped rebuilt tested all up and running as we know uh can't beat a you know decent pump on this that's nearly everything isn't it yeah. if your pump's not right as you know injectors reconditioned and tested um oh oh lift pump where you got is that new old stock new old stock really yeah people Proper forget anyway. how important a lift pump is because once that stops working you're not getting any <laughs> you're not getting any days later and you're not going home either that's brilliant, mate. What a lovely find. And you've got a few of these, have yeah, you? Yeah. That's good. What else you got? Oh, what else you got? There? Oh, obviously a starter motor. Yep. Again, uh, stripped, reconditioned and tested. Yeah, it's just about to go on one of those engines over there. Okay. Just done. Oh, look at this. New old stock big end bearings. Oh, mate. Which hell. we're very fortunate to have most sizes as well. Right, okay. Bloody hell. Been wrapped up since the 50s. So, you, you know, you've still got a lot of parts that people think you just cannot get hold of now and they sort of oh that's unobtainium and all that well it's not is it no, you've got them um and it's just a small selection i understand you've bought another matador yeah uh you haven't seen it yet no. and another one turned up a couple of weeks ago what is it another timber tractor okay good i've got to be honest though i bought this one off the internet and i made the schoolboy error of not going to see it first so there were some pictures and a little description. In fact, there weren't a lot of pictures. There was about two pictures. And when it turned up on the low loader the other week, mm. let's just say I was a little bit disappointed. Drivable? No. Ah. So, um, you know, have you ever bought anything off the internet, eBay, and when it's turned up, it doesn't quite look like the pictures, and there's that feel, moment of major disappointment? I think I'm about to feel that. Let's uh, let's go and have a look. Here what she is. the actual fuck is that? What? <laughs> That's like something off a theme park. What's this? That's uh, a greenhouse. Well, it's not one of Ant's cabs, is it? No, it's not. It's it's just metal box. Yeah. But, mate, that is uh, something special. Have a look at the welding. Oh no, I, I love the welding, but I also just love, you know, what can you reach, mate, with your paintbrush? Well, about there. What do you do then? You just leave all that. Ideal. Uh, yeah, hasn't I, got a lot going for it, has it? Okay, now that's a bit uh, chuffy there, mate. Ooh, bit hard. You know what? Just twist that, mate. Just give it a little bit of a twist. What on earth are we going to do with this? Two things. One is oxy. The other is acetylene. What's scrap at the moment? Two to wet your tan. Yep. This could be our biggest challenge to date. What? Is it a... No, we should see if it will start. Honestly, it we should. Does it run though? 
I've got no idea. I've got absolutely no idea. I don't know anything about it. Um, all them other ones that we've done before, we always kind of knew they were going to go, didn't we? Well, if long as that, <clears throat> as an example, chances are that ain't going to run. Well, it, <laughs> I'd yeah, actually it, go as far as to say you could probably get a note out of it. Sure, if you can give it a go. No, no, but no, but that's if you see. Look, all joking aside, mm. if you saw that as an engine in a truck, you're going to think, well, look, the chances are it ain't going to start. You wouldn't no. waste the fuel and you wouldn't waste your effort. No. Um, but I've got no idea, I've got no idea with this one. Not only do we see if we can get it to start, but do you think it would move? There's a props on it. Mm. It's got, mm, no. No, it's not really gonna move very far, is it? It hasn't got any prop shafts. There's one there on the floor. So um, we can put props on it. Yeah, but we haven't got one from the gearbox, so the transfer box. You can find one. Yeah. Um, that engine then, so obviously there's an engine in there. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Right, so we've got an engine and it's got a pump on it. So it's not the right pump, but doesn't no, matter. No, don't we worry about that? Uh, uh, I don't know what to say, mate. Um, does it is it seized or? No idea. No, literally came off the low loader, got dragged in here. It's been sat here ever since. Okay. Um, well, should we just see if it will turn actually turn over as free? Do we know if it's free? Well, what with a, a pry bar and a... yeah. Um, right, mate, you get under there. We'll have a look up here right. so we can see on the back of the flywheel here. I'm going to give it a go. Go on, it, all right. What do you reckon the chances are? I don't, I don't know, mate. I, I genuinely don't. Is... Oh, no. She's oh, turning. she's turning. She's turning. Could mean it's got no pistons in it. <laughs> Could mean that. No, it is. It is it's turning. turning. Yeah, right, that's a start. And. Linkage it, is free ish. It's got a starter motor on it. Linkage is free ish. So oh, it's got a starter motor on, okay. Yeah. What have you seen? The wiring. Oh. I say wiring, collection Hold of on. wires. Yeah, that's what, that is exactly what you need, mate. Which one do you want to connect the battery to? All of them. What at once? Just at once. Yeah. We had a small fire last night, but we caught it in the nick of time. <laughs> oh, we can go direct. We do normal. We don't worry about all that crap. Do you think we should disconnect this lot first. I would have thought so, just with a pair of bloody cutters. Um. Okay. So we got a pump on there, Matt. The engine actually looks complete, Matt. Really? Well, yeah. I don't see a lot missing. It's not like anyone's been robbed off it. No. The starter motor on it? Yeah. yeah. Right. Pumps on it, lift pumps on it, yeah. lines are on it. We could just feed direct diesel. Direct straight to it like we did before. Yeah. Might have been funny, but it must have said in the advert that it ran or not. It, no, they're nothing. Absolutely nothing. What, just said for sale, Matador? Yeah, and there were some pictures, but it didn't really look like this in the pictures. What did it look like in the pictures? Well, it looked like a Matador. I think it was more of a, a rear shot, to be honest. Oh, I see. So let's let's try and recreate this. So it looks like a Matador now, doesn't it? Matador for sale. Yeah. Just no roof on it or anything, no. but Matador for sale. Yeah. And it's worth... Fuck all. And you thought that was good enough to, to have a yeah. purchase? Yeah. 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 I like the colour. I like the colour up to the cab. Yeah, the green tank looks pretty. Yeah. Um, just all been done so well. That's just that's beautiful. Look at this look. But look at the jib on the back. Look at that. I know. I know. It looks like it's off a pit head. Um, oh, yeah. Look. You can see that. Look. How much welding? All, all, all of, it. of it. Yeah. That's good. You can't beat having just bits just chunked and welded on. That's no. That's always a treat. No. Some, some birds have made a little nest at the back. It's been ah, well, 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 well. Ah, ah, ah. In that case, in that case, as my regular followers will know, if we find a bird's nest in Will It Start history, they always start, mate. Really? Is that like a good omen? No, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. No, honestly, it's a bit of a, it became a bit of a joke. Mm -hmm. Whenever we found a bird's nest, which to be fair meant I've been sitting there a long time. Mm. They always, they've always started. So, so I've got something that won't start. I just need to put a bird's, bird's nest in it. Sorry. Got, yeah, no, I, I've actually got, no, it's daft at sand, I've got confidence this thing will fire up. Really? Yep. Do you, tell you what, if it fires and it runs, yeah, you've got to drive it out the yard and round, and round the farm, all right? So if we can get it to run, I'll get it to move and drive. I can do that. You have to drive it around the farm. 
All right, so if we can get her to fire up, you'll yeah. put props on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Assuming we've got a clutch. We don't need brakes, because- We don't need the brake. I'm not going to go that quick. No, but you've got to drive it around yeah, I'm up for that. All right. <laughs> I'm up for that. No, no, on seriously. On film? Yeah, we film it. All right, okay. First thing though, what we've got to do then- and Have a cup of tea? We'll have a cup of tea, yeah. but- um, I'm not even gonna. Uh, I'm not even gonna ask the question of, would you lot out there like to see us well, get this running? Well, I think that's a. I, I don't even care if you do or you don't. No, well, I do. Choice. Yeah, I actually want to see this now yeah. running, purely for the bird's nest. Yep. So, we're gonna do a will it start then, yeah? And a will it move? Yeah, all right. Well, let's do the fir first things first. <laughs> I'll do a will it start on this, and then if we get it started. We'll get some props and that on it. And then we'll do a will it move and I'll drive it around the yard. <laughs> so, so there we are. As for that right old heap and uh, will it start? Um, I don't know, will it? Genuinely, I, it's gonna be a fortnight before we get a chance to go and sling some batteries on it and whatever, um, and see if it cheaters to life. But the thing is you've seen actually the first part of any will it start you see, so has it seized? Is it free? Yeah, well, it's free. Okay, that's good. Um, are big components, pumps and stuff missing? No, it seems to be there. Okay. Um, are there any holes or cracks in the block or anything? No, that seems to be intact. Good. That way then, it's a viable proposition for us to start spending, say, time, effort and money on it, get some batteries, get some fuel into it and see if it, um, you know, say it fires up. But your guess is as good as mine. But we will film it. And we will obviously show it on here. And if you don't want to miss that video, um, then just like all the others, the best way, because Marcus, listen, as you know, and it's getting worse, I'm getting more and more messages each week going, Mark, I love the channel and that. Mate, I ain't seen you for a while. You haven't put any videos up. And I'm like, I'm putting them up nearly every week. And I had enough of this. So this week, I got hold of LubeTube. And I had one of these online chat things. And of course they went down the old corporate thing about, oh no, you know, we don't shadow ban anybody and we, you know, everybody, we were all encompassing no matter what the subject matter. I said, listen, I said, I know for a fact you lot don't like what we do, which as I said, is, you know, anything with an engine, trucks, tractors, aircraft, you know, diggers and dozers and stuff like that. I said, say what you like but we're not gonna follow your agenda of molesting a mongoose or whatever it is that they, you know, particularly favor this week on, on Ludo. And they were like, oh no, no. And they said, look, we'll get the stats up and whatever. And they got this thing they sent me up on the screen. Now, according to them, muckers, <laughs> right? Um, only 11% of you have got your notifications turned to all notifications. So in essence, um, they're saying it's your fault. I said to her, I said, well, I'll tell them that. I said, they'll be right, fucking chuff, wouldn't they? Anyway, look, Marcus, if you want to see that will it start with the matter door, and if you want to see stuff like, well, this. So I said that if I got through over 10,000 followers on Instagram, that I would take this off and put this on for one day only. And then, you know, pull a trailer up and down the road or something, or put the old girl to work and let her bark out. But like I said, I said I'd do it, so I'll do it. Just make sure, that obviously, that you're subscribed to the channel, and then that way you're also in a chance of winning stuff when we do giveaways. But make sure you subscribe to the channel, and then you press the notification bell. And here's the important thing, apparently, that you press all notifications and even if you are you think you're already um you know subscribed and you've got the bell up just go and check mugs just go and check then we've done everything that they've told us that we're doing wrong all right and then there we are and that saves us then you know in abusing orangutans and in ducks and stuff like that all right so anyway there we go that's <laughs> all we can do really um uh, but as i said we will do that will it start as soon as we do and the other thing is if you want to keep up, because even though it might be a few weeks or a month or so before you know, a video comes out, while I'm filming it, I will put up short reels, you know, little videos and whatever, and photos and stories that 
on my Instagram. That's the other way to keep in touch. And most of you know my Instagram is lordmuck4890. Well, is it that time again? Yes? Come on, come here. Come on, come and say goodbye. Yes? So, there we go, muckers. It's that time again, according to someone. So, until the next one, do well. <laughs>